This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Register your handicap before teeing off. Handicapping equalizes players' chances of winning. After your first shot, it's important to note the distance to the green. You're only told once, so don't hurriedly skip to the next screen. Take a look at the course screens before taking a shot. They give you several different perspectives. The close-ups of the green show you the pin placement and locations of the bunkers. Use the information to plan your strategy. Watch the power bar closely on tee shots. If you overswing and catch the top of the ball, a fluff shot will result. Then from the rough, you'll need a lot of club to get back on track and back in the fairway. Use as big an iron as the game will allow. In this case, that's a three iron. Be sure to check which club is selected. It's easy to forget to change clubs after a shot. Here we exchange a one iron for a three iron. The power bar is very simple. Press the A button to start your upswing, a second time to begin your downswing, and a third time to make contact with the ball. Hitting out of the sand is a unique challenge. You need power to clear the trap. So go ahead and air it out on the swing if you want to make it to the green. Look in the upper right corner of your screen. The wind should only be a consideration when it reaches six or higher. Even then, it will have only a nominal effect. This tee shot is best played by intentionally slicing the ball past the trees. Move the red arrow back by moving the directional to the left. Now watch. The ball curves around the trees and back toward the right of the fairway. The longer sand shots require as much power as you can muster. Here we use a 7 iron and still fall 95 yards short of the green. However, from the middle of the fairway, we have a straight shot to the pin. This group of trees should pose no problem. Instead of going around them, try lofting a shot over them. You may be surprised at the results. Putting is a delicate art. Go easy. The small V's on the green indicate where the slopes are. Use them to aim your putt and play the brakes. And go easy with your pitching wedge, too. Unless you're more than 50 yards from the pin, you'll want to stay in the red on the power bar. Don't panic if you ditch the ball in the woods. The consequences are not as great as in golf's outdoor variety. Use a lot of club and you should be okay. Back to the clubhouse to take a look at our scorecard. The gross score was an 84. However, after figuring in the 14 handicap, we get a respectable net score of 70 or two under par. Now that you know some inside tips, grab your sticks and head out to Pebble Beach. Baseball stars let you play in the field, on the mound, behind the plate, and in the front office. It's not just how well you throw, catch, and hit, but how you manage. Play with friends and create your own league. First, you'll need to decide how many games your season will be. Next, put together the team with which you'll make your drive for the pennant. When choosing a team strength, it's best to go with balance. Choosing any of the other categories is just too iffy. You also get to name your franchise and choose a logo. Let's call our team the Yankees. The figure leaning against the logo tells you what color your uniforms will be.
If you need to make room on your roster, send a player packing. Let's fire one of our perennial bench warmers. You can now hire the services of a new player or trade for one. Whatever you decide will be announced at a press conference. After a quick look at the league standings, it's time to head out to the ballpark and set the lineup for today's game. Break out the hot dogs. It's time to play ball. To make catches, follow the shadow of the ball. Your fielder can make a grab only if the ball falls in front of him. Your pitchers should try to keep it out of the strike zone as often as possible. That's one way to prevent the batter from getting a solid hit on the ball. However, walks are every manager's nightmare, so mix it up as best you can. Be patient on offense and wait for your pitch. On this play, our hitter's patience is rewarded with a stand-up double to right field. Keep a close watch on the base runners. You can monitor who's doing what with a small inset at the lower corner of the screen. Here a routine grounder to first turns into a double play. The runner made a mistake of trying to make it home. Note that when covering second base, your shortstop is virtually a statue. You cannot control his movements even if a grounder rolls right by his leg. To steal second, try to get a good lead off first. Then, just as the pitcher releases the ball, make a jump for it. Safe! If the ball isn't automatically returned to the pitcher, it means that the defense gets a free out. The computer unfortunately sends players down the base paths on any live ball. So here, a routine out turns into a double play. If your starter's fastball begins losing its zip, go to your bullpen and bring in some relief. Always be alert on offense. On this play, the right fielder throws to the wrong base. This allows the Ratters to stretch an RBI single into a stand-up double. There are a few wrinkles you should be aware of in the pitcher-batter matchup. First of all, drop pitches are easy to detect. Listen, the sound effect tells you the throw will be a drooper. If the ball is coming in pretty tight, walk into the pitch. If it hits you, consider first base a gift. The Bears blow out the Mad Ratters by a score of 15 to 5. Games are called when a lead reaches 10 runs or more. After each contest, the winning and losing pitchers are displayed, as well as a listing of home run hitters. For the winning club, the fun has just begun. Funds are allotted to the winning team based on the attendance. The Bears picked up $28,000 for this victory. Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Airwolf, the Acclaim remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores per mission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official wireless remote controller, licensed by Nintendo, created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote, the power to move. The scoreboard in this game displays who is hitting. It also posts the hitter's average and home run total for the season. Let's look in on a contest between Jersey and Boston. It's the top of the second inning. The batter on the play is the right fielder, James. He's hitting against Boston's starter, Fine. To judge where the pitch is going, watch the...